but all the rocks, all the stone in Machu Picchu is granite. Granite? And you know the granite is strong, right? Very strong. Because all the instruments that the Incas used to use like hammers and chisels were made of bronze. Bronze? So yes. Please, the Incas, yeah. they were the bronze age. Maybe yeah. if the Spanish never arrived, the Incas becomes to the Iron Age. For many people, that was a mistake of the Incas. Because they never becomes quickly to the Iron Age. Because the Incas, they knew the iron for that place. Look the black stone in my hand. That's he the hematite or hiwaya. This rock is stronger than the granite because this rock has the 70% of iron for that look. It has attraction with the magnet. Oh, neat. But this rock, there is a much picture. This rock we can find on over the 3,000 and 4,000 meter above level. From that rock, the Incas made little hammers and little chisels to cut the rocks and also polish because it's stronger than the granite. For that, if the Spanish never arrived, the Incas becomes the Iron Age. But the mistake of the Incas was that they stayed for a long time in the Bronze Age and then it becomes quickly to the Iron Age. Now, how did they shape the hematite? Hmm? So, you, how do you shape the hematite? You needed something stronger. Yeah, that we have another rock that is strong, that is heavy, that we call it. Um, well, the name's here. Okay. <laughs> Try to remember, right? but that's another big rock like this. But I just, it's just curious to see how they make a tool, yeah. but they need something stronger in order to mm -hmm. form it. Yeah. So this was the quarry. Yeah. But the technique that the Incas used to use the rock, the rock to cut the rock was, according to some people, you know, they said the Incas, they always made little holes on the rocks and they put piece of wood, right? And when you put water in a wood, what happens? It expands. Expand, right? But please, that technique didn't work. And nowadays, it doesn't work. Yeah. Why? Because the weather is humid. Yes. More water to the wood, rot. Mm. But the technique that the Incas used to use here was the system of percussions. It was a stone Percussion. with a stone. Can you see the lines over here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Those lines are fractured inside the rock. The Incas used to use a rock like this side with the hematite and hit the fracture, a stone with a stone. And when the rock was cut, the Incas used the chisel, the hammer, to cover and also to polish. But before the polish, water and sand, then polish. In. Why to become one of the rocks that you can see in all the constructions, especially in the Inca Imperial, that is only a stone with a stone? It was a hard work, right? <laughs> because the system to transport rocks, it was the pen. It was a small rock like this, or a medium rock, rock like this, the Incas carried it. But it was a big rock, like one ton or maybe more. The Incas put rolling trunks under the rock and tie 100 with 100 people. I mean, like a wheel system. Like over the rock, yes. But not exactly a wheel. Yeah, so like a bearing. It's like a bearing. Yeah, exactly. And if the construction was big, the Incas may run. Run, run, run. And then pull up and push up. They gave a hard work. Hard? <laughs> But Just look, polishing the edge of the rock. Yeah, look again, please, the, that rock that in many places I told you that we are not seeing that thing. That the Incas, they never destroyed the rocks. Because they the Inca, made they it part of the structure. According to the nature. For that, please, in Cusco, nowadays, not